Okay, I don't know if people can hear me yet because I'm testing out my stream and seeing how things are going. Hello, my name is Silty. I'm playing Subnautica. I've been playing Subnautica off and on for over a year, maybe two years even. I've lost track. I've never gotten very far because life keeps getting in the way. But now, thanks to the ever so fascinating pandemic, I have more time at home than I knew, usually do. I'm usually out and about. So I'm going to play for about 10 minutes here, and then I'm going to turn off the stream and check the recording and see how everything goes. So here we are, Subnautica. I'll give you a quick tour. There's my lovely sea moth, named Andromeda. Uh, basically, my camel carries stuff for me, and dromedary is a type of camel, but I didn't want to call it camel or dromedary, so Andromeda is kind of a, a play on words. So, yep, yeah, I'm just having fun with names. If you haven't seen some, uh, Subnautica the game before, it is very pretty. I am playing in 2D. I do have a 3D headset, but if I wear it too long, it gives me a terrible headache. So I'm not going to put it on until I know I have the stream set up to work properly. All right, let's just go for a swim. Welcome aboard, Captain. I have plants, outdoors and indoors. I can tell you right now, I'm playing freedom mode which means I don't need to eat or drink. Uh, I, I'm i not very good at this game in terms of all the controllers and trying to catch fish fast enough to live off of them was terribly frustrating. So I stopped doing that. This is a brain coral. It actually does make water. So if you see one when you're down deep, you can actually stay above it and it'll give you water. So, oh, there run some bubbles. And so as I go around, I collect pieces of things. I haven't collected pieces of every plant I've seen. Uh, like I said, it's really just for fun. I don't actually eat anything. Some of these are useful though. The creep vine here, which is getting pretty tall, but still doesn't have any seeds. I don't know why not. Does this, oh, these creep vines have seeds. So for some reason, these two are happier than that one. I don't know why. Uh, you actually need creep vines. You use a knife to chop off pieces here or just collect uh, let's see, creep vine cluster seed like that. Let's get my knife out and collect a piece. And then they're used to make materials. Um, these two, cave bush and the jelly shroom, are just for pretty. These are gel sacs. They are also useful. And I'm sorry if I'm zigzagging around. Remember I said I'm not really great with controllers? Yeah, I'm not kidding. I'm not really great with controllers. So if I pick up the gel sac, I pick up the whole thing. And then if I go in my inventory, there's the creep vine seed that I grabbed. There's the creep vine sample that I used with a knife. And then down here, this tiny little thing is the gel sac. So you can use both your hands or the knife on the same plant to get different results. So in this case, I picked up the whole gel sac. If I then use my knife, I cut it three times. I now have three seeds. And you'll notice it has a little seed symbol in it. Do, do, do. Use planter. And so now that I have seeds, I want to replant those. There, now I've replanted those two. I have an extra seed. So I'm going to pick up another gel sac and plant the seed. There we go. I can do other things with the seeds, but eh, not really necessary. Now this is a moon pool above me. You can park equipment there or s swim up. And you notice it has ladders. However, the ladder has a little video and I get motion sick easily. So I don't like using the ladder. <laughs> I like to just walk in under my own two feet. You'd think someone who gets motion sick easily wouldn't be playing online games or 3D headsets, but I like to challenge myself a little bit. Uh, you can pick up posters during the game, and so I put my posters up and display them. And yes, there are repeats. The Pawn Mark III, I have at least two of those. I think there may be a third one somewhere. But I want to show you my other garden. So I have an outdoor garden and an indoor garden. So this indoor garden are land plants I've collected, and they're very pretty too. Again, I don't actually 
need them. So Chinese potato, uh, grub basket, uh, lantern fruit, marble melon, Ming plant, it's very pretty, like a Ming vase, Jaffa cup. These are three different things, the pick speckled rattler, pink cap, and voxel shrub. And then here we have a bobo tree. So the bobo tree and the lantern plant and the marble melon and the Chinese potato are all edible, I think. I know for sure the other three. I'm trying to remember if the bobo tree is edible or not. Let me check. Mm, I guess not. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. However, I can't, I don't need to eat these, but I have a bioreactor. So I can put things in the bioreactor and that fuels my base. I also have solar panels, but gosh golly, the solar panels do much good at night. And as my uh, base gets bigger, I need more and more electricity. So I'm actually about to outgrow outgrow the uh, bioreactor in terms of it being a big enough source of energy for me. Now I'm not putting these in the bioreactor even though they can go in the bioreactor because I can actually use these to make useful things. And I know how to run but I keep forgetting. And you can't run for very long. Oh, I did find a shelf. I put some decorations up. So there's a weird stuffy called the Arcade Gorge Toy. And then this is an Aurora miniature. If you haven't seen the game, uh, the Aurora is kind of the whole point of this game. It's the central character, so to speak, if you believe that inanimate objects can be characters. Uh, making things. Yes. So, the fiber mesh can either be used for... Um, Excuse me, creep fine sample can either be used for fiber mesh. Oh no, it's only used for fiber mesh. The cleats seed clusters can be used for silicone rubber or for lubricant. So I'm gonna like make one of each. I'm not building anything right now. However, I've learned it's really easy to need things. So I've actually been going around when I have a spare chance and making extras of things so that they're ready to go when I need them. So this is my storage cabinet of extra things. So I've got fiber mesh, silicone rubber. The gold is here because the gold cabinet overflowed. Uh, I need to either rearrange my storage or I need to uh, build more. Uh, titanium ingot, plastic ingot, uh, power cell, computer chip. So advanced wiring kit, basic wiring kit. So I've been slowly like making extras, but this isn't really much. I'm gonna suck these down like candy as soon as I start building something new. Uh, aerogel. Aerogel is made with gel sacks and rubies. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that now. I've got the aerogel. Here's my rubies. It's one to one. Aerogel. There we go. Now you see up here, synthetic fiber benzene, and then benzene. Benzene is from blood oil. On my last foray out into the depths, I got my first blood oil seeds. So those are growing down there. I didn't show them off because they're just spindly little green things at the moment. So now I have aerogel, put that into storage also. So I'm going to stop here and then go back and check my recording. I am very new to this. I, yes. However, this will entertain my friends who have been either teaching me little bits here and there or are wanting to see what I come up with. So thank you for watching and goodbye for now.